Welcome to episode number, I believe it's seven, of The Golden Bachelorette. Hi, Holly. Hello. Okay, before we get started on this episode that did not turn out anything like I thought, how about you? No, I yeah. agree. Yeah. It was a surprising one. It was a surprise. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about something I just read just before you came. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. No, no, oh, no, oh. no, 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 no. Okay. This is about, okay, remember last oh. week? Mm. We talked about who was dating, you know, how, uh, what's her name? She said she was fixing up some of the other Golden Bachelorettes. Joan. Joan. Was, yeah, Joan was got more. I'm so tired. The gals up. Yeah. Okay. Guess what? I saw a tidbit. What? Dying. No. Dying? Well, no, I mean, like, I'm dying to oh, know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why? Well, no, not dead yet. No. Okay. Um, Leslie, FEMA, and Jordan. Jordan, the one in Chicago, who we saw, <gasps> we, you said we just oh flat. Oh my, just I could start. see them together. Well, first they're of both all, they're Jewish. Both, exactly, they're both Jewish, so oh my it's like God. a... God, Minneapolis, Chicago. Not too far. Yep, it, it could be a match. I think it could be, because he's kind of that hippy-dippy guy. Yeah. He and, could go that way. And she, mm -hmm. as we know, is definitely like that. So. Yes. <gasps> I know, it's almost like a J-date made on TV, right? Totally. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that going to be a reality series? Well, I don't know. Oh, that is great. That's, so, oh my gosh. I, I just want to follow up on that. Yeah, I, I just, I didn't get a lot of information, but they had a okay. meetup or something and they looked very cozy. Oh God, I'll be so happy for Leslie. Yeah. Because she was so in love. And seriously, if she winds up with Jordan, he's nothing like smudge face <laughs> or whatever we, we, <laughs> smudge face? what'd you call it? gary turdner gary turdner i like yeah. smudge face yeah just that's ugh. unique <laughs> wouldn't that be great that, that would be so great i know so yeah and they're close geographically which i think is i mean that's just a hop skip and a jump really yeah. from oh yeah chicago Oh my or God. Maybe, yeah, I mean, or vice versa. So that it so, would be great news from people that didn't win. Right. Or right. get picked, whatever. And she had said that there were a couple in the offing, but now they've, re you know, this one's been revealed. So oh, that's yay. that. Yeah. Um, now let's just jump into this episode that defied expectation. Okay. Yeah. So they open with a preview and it shows Joan upset. My hope is down to nothing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, that bit. I don't want to say it says it all, but I know what I'm thinking. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, um, LAX, she, okay, I, that <laughs> sundress. Yeah. Was that sundress the most adorable, oh. that was sort of largely white, but with red mm -hmm. print? Like a red, red print. Little floral pattern. Oh, Darling. My God. Oh. I was like, why can't I find stuff that cute? I know. But she wears everything so beautifully. She does. She does. I loved it. Um, so Tahiti, Maria, Maria? Maria. Maria. Yes. I've always wanted to go there. Oh, gasp. Yeah. Oh, my God. Those Ugh. mountains Ugh. and the water. Ugh. Gorgeous. And the wa that water was just as beautiful as when I saw the water at Turks and Caicos, which is oh. also turquoise. I've never been there. Well, so. I was just... but. I have been to You Tahiti. were just there. I was so. just there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, you know, just a weekender. No, yeah. just, <laughs> no, I mean, but that that water was incredible. I, I made mm -hmm. me just say, Tahiti? Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That ship was pretty incredible. And I, I don't know about you, but did you notice there was nobody else yes. on the ship? I mean, was it just there for, they were I, like cleaning it or something? Or? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Nobody else was on the ship. Right. She was the only one. On the whole ship. Yeah. Well, I mean, wherever they were filming, it was it was desolate. Yeah. 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 It was almost like kind of eerie. Yeah. Like, was it off season? But it couldn't be that off. I don't know. It was weird. And the resort, I only saw two people walking on the boardwalk when they were filming, like, from the eating or something. To go to the and bungalows? That's it. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, maybe that's how they, they film at the resort, but the ship was empty. I thought it was just yeah. odd. Very odd. Yeah. Um, and then Nancy. Okay. So it was Let's Nancy. Let's talk about Nancy. Did that look like Nancy? No. I didn't even think it was her at first. I could only tell just through the eyes and the, her same hairstyle, but she just, she had put on some weight. I think that's what it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought she maybe had a facelift or Botox or well, filler. 
Yeah, she maybe all. Because she was so tight before, and then she was more cheeky. I, well, because I think she gained some weight. Okay. Yeah. Well, she looked good. Oh, she looked great, and she yeah. seemed very happy. Yes. You know? Maybe she's dating a well. suitor <laughs> that was kicked off. <laughs> a gentleman caller. <laughs> right, <Yeah>. right. <laughs> I thought that she gave her really good advice. She's a good mm-hmm. friend. They I they know. obviously have a close relationship, right? Oh, I, definitely. And I think, do you think she knew she was going to be there? She sure acted like she was surprised. Right, right. I was trying to figure it out. But, yeah, me too. Um, I, I, It's so funny to remember Nancy when she was on The Golden Bachelor to being like, ew, claws out, to now she's just a really get, great gal. I know. You got mm-hmm. Maybe she's getting some. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. But, right. But they're obviously really good friends. Mm-hmm. Or they've become friends and they live close to each other. I don't remember where Nancy lives, but... Somewhere, somewhere near back east, yeah. Somewhere I think Pennsylvania. Oh, well, then I'm not that's sure. pretty. I'm, no, that's I don't know. Fairly close to Maryland. I don't know. Yeah, east coast. Um, anyway, I, I thought she gave her some really good advice. I don't remember mm-hmm. all of it, but eh. mm-hmm. anyway, she was a good friend. Yeah. Okay. First up, guy, um, guy, guy. Yeah, he was so one on one. Do we want to talk first about the restraining order? I think we should throw it in there. Yeah. Yeah, so since uh, the show's been airing, there's been some a little tidbit of news on Guy having a restraining order against his wife. Yep. Well, his wife filed a restraining order against him, mm-hmm. but it didn't seem like a huge big deal. Did you read the article? I did, and she dropped it after she did, but it it was a little crazy. It sounded was it? like, yeah. Was it physical? No. I okay. think it was, yeah. no. Nothing no, was no. physical, but she did drop it like within 24 hours. Yeah, something like Maybe that. Maybe there was a hot and heated fight. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not on anybody's side on this one. No, nor am I. Like the other ones, the other situation with Gil. Yeah, that was different. Um, But it was just, yeah, that just put you a little teensy red flag. It was a little surprising. Yeah, I was. I did not see that coming, but. I think I, you and I were texting about that a little bit. And when you're going through a divorce mm-hmm. and it gets crazy and you say and do things that you would have never otherwise said, mm-hmm. I, yeah. I can see that happening. But there wasn't I, there wasn't anything, at least in the article outlined, about any kind of physical abuse. It just sounded like it was mm. a bad argument. And he probably said things he didn't. <laughs> Why to ever say again or, you know, regret right. it. So I don't know. I don't know. There could have been money involved, and no. that's usually what always happens. He's you a doctor. You know that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Of course. Right. It wasn't, nobody got arrested. No. It was just, it is what it is. So. Yeah. yeah. So he's the one first up. But um, she had said so far, or Joan had said, I don't have any red flags. And so I'm thinking, yeah, oh, I know. Would she? <laughs> well, they filmed this before that info well, leaked out. Yeah, because it wrapped like what in August or something or oh, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I, one thing, let me before I, we move on to that date, um, the one thing Nancy did say lonely is a place you walk through. And I've never heard it put that way. And, and she was saying something, she said something prior to that place you walk through. In other words, this too shall pass. You know, oh, when she was trying to comfort, okay. mm-hmm. yeah, and just be a good friend. And I thought, that's good. Yeah. You know, that like, don't worry, Joan, you're going to be, you're it's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be okay. So anyway, so Guy, I thought, okay, he was going to do a toddler jump. <laughs> Starts a slow walk to a run. I know. He sees her and he's all getting excited. <laughs> I saw that and I went, I know, I know she's, she's thinking toddler jump, you. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he didn't. He was like, whoo, there she is. Yeah. The one thing about Guy is yeah. I feel like he's still a little stiff. Oh, very much so. Yes. Yeah, it's just like, yes. I don't know, nobody ever gets drunk or at least drinks enough so they're more relaxed. They're always on guard. Well, they don't drink or eat, which is right. drives me nuts. But I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, but he's stiff and like almost, um, he tries too hard to say the right thing. Yeah. And it shows. Yeah, it's very measured mm-hmm. and he does seem stiff, I guess, or just not relaxed. Right. You know. Hey, they had a kick-ass date. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they really did. I fr- Now, what did they do again? I got to look at my... They went snorkeling. Oh, they that's right. the boat. Oh, oh that's right. Oh. They jumped, they went to a boat. Yeah, that's right. They took a, a dinghy to a boat 
I was a little scared because I saw stingrays. I know, and, and I kept I'm, thinking of Steve, Steve Corwin that died. That's exactly what I, I went. Thought oh, the same no. thing. And I go, oh. And then I'm seeing those others, and I'm not seeing any fins, or did I? And I'm thinking, are those some kind of, like, safe sharks? I hope so. Right. I think they are, obviously. And they weren't wearing flippers. I mean, you can scuba without them, but... Yeah. Well, her her bikini... Oh, she looks great. She rocked that outfit. Yeah. Rocked the crap out of that. Yeah. She looked great. Yeah. Um, I feel like she's trying to manifest her feelings. You know what I mean? Like... I do. Bring them up to par where she feels like she should be. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's an excellent observation. I completely agree. And not just because I completely agree. <laughs> right. Oh. But I do think she is. She's like, well, I should be at this point by now. So if yeah. I think about it real hard, yeah. maybe I'll get there. Maybe I'll fall in love now. Yeah. On yes. the last date. <laughs> yes. Right, right, right. The conversation, I thought, felt a little stilted, a little bit mm-hmm. rare, not... Mm, not really necessarily, I wouldn't say rehearsed, but it did. Just, it just felt a little stiff. It did. Yeah. Um, I have here, she says, growing her relationship. Oh, she wanted to get to know Guy better to grow the relationship. And I put, it's a little too late for that. Oh, it should have been grown right. by now. Exactly. Or growing or yeah. well on its way to becoming, you know, to flowering at this yeah, point. I mean, exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's obviously all in. I don't know if she is. No, she seems to like him. Mm-hmm. I, you know, she likes yeah, him. You she can likes tell. Him. Yeah. yeah. And they looked like they had fun in the water smooching. I and, know. They you were know, making like, out. Yeah, yeah. Totally. There was a point where she made it very clear there would be no booty call in the fantasy oh, suites. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. And I, saw, I thought, you know what? Good for her. Because mm-hmm. I just think it's. I, I don't know. I even if I was twenty five and on just the regular bachelorette, I would not do that. But Mm-mm. that's me, and so I guess I relate more to her because I would never. Oh, you're going to sleep with three men, right? And you're, back and you're, to back. I I just it's <laughs> it's just or you know it's just gross. Yeah, I, I've always thought that's just a gross part of the whole thing. Even even on the the ones with the younger right people. Right. Well, the other thing is the first thing I thought of is when she told. Each man, and I yeah. thought of it at the beginning. They're <laughs> like, "Oh shit! I just took a blue pill." <laughs> no, seriously, well, he, he no. I could, yeah, right. But he and looked it, crestfallen. I gotta say, they did a, re- and he didn't look too, but he looked a bit mm-hmm. like, like you could see sort of his face dropped like, a little uh-oh. bit. And I went, he's like going, "I'm not getting any." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was a thought bubble. <laughs> I, there was, there was. But then you know, obviously, he respected it. And yeah. I don't know how you could sleep with somebody that fast, especially no. at our age. Well, yeah. 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 Um, and when she hands them the envelope, it's stupid because everybody knows. They've so already talked about it. Dumb. Everybody knows. Mm-hmm. Oh, here, you, if you want to, if you choose to, go to the fantasy suite. Everybody knows it's coming. Right. Just either decide, you're big kids, you don't need a freaking envelope with a card I know. written by Jesse. They should change that for uh, older couples. Yes, I agree. Mm-hmm. I completely agree. Okay, so um they didn't eat again. Mm-hmm. Uh, why? What what? Why? Would did they bring the food to them later maybe? Yeah, they don't eat dinner. They didn't eat dinner. And those dinners look kind of good. <laughs> maybe they just went cut. Oh yeah. I think that part maybe. maybe got cut and then they just okay. went straight to the um suite. Yeah. On the boat. Yeah, probably. Okay. So, the next morning, guy looks happy. Mm-hmm. You know, he looks yeah. Not like I just got me some happy, but he looks right. Nice, you know, yeah. he's, he's like I'm. I'm feeling good yeah. about what he's we feeling talked optimistic about. about yeah. Joan. Mm-hmm. Then we have Jesse and Shock, not in Kansas anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. He was just sort of a good old boy talking with Jesse. It sounded like, um, but he was kind of intense with him. Like, yeah, he you know, was. He, yeah, because he didn't do that with. Did he do that with um, uh, Guy? Meet one on one with him before their date. Oh gosh, I didn't. I didn't think they did. That's Wait, why. Let me go back to that page. I did not I, have a note on that. No, I didn't either. And when I saw Jesse and Shock meeting before the date, I thought, oh, he didn't meet with Guy. Okay. Anyway, so back to Chalk. Chalk and noodles. So, Chalk and noodles. He sees her. Oh, he's excited too. Yeah. He picks ex- up his pace. Picks they, up his what? His pace when they oh, walk yeah. toward each other. Oh and yeah, yeah. They kiss and oh, smooch God. and. 
If he had toddler jumped on her, she would have been crushed. <laughs> she would have fallen over. <laughs> I would like to see that, though, yeah. just as long as I knew she wasn't going to get hurt. <laughs> well, it's funny because, obviously, she could have ran up to him, yeah. but I guess that's not how the parts played in no. the Golden Bachelorette, where no, she No, but waits. she did that once last week, remember? She did the toddler, almost. well, not the toddler jump, she did mm-hmm. the run up. Run and, and hug. Uh, yeah. Okay, Um, they went four-wheeling, which terrified Oh. The holy living hell out of me. After my back surgery, I couldn't have done that. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, right. Right. Well, good thing you aren't in the Golden Bachelorette. That's right. Yeah. I won't get accepted. (laughs) I better not try out. Um, (laughs) He says, oh, yeah, I have two of these. He was very comfortable doing the four-wheeling. Oh, yeah. He goes, I have two at home. One-handed. Did you notice that? Arm around her. Oh, I didn't see that. Get the other hand on the steering wheel. Yeah. Well, he was going pretty fast. Yeah. I was terrified I was watching. Too. There's so many accidents in those damn things. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Just a little helmet is not gonna. Mm-mm. Ooh, I, I pictured them being tipped over and being crushed. Right. That was scary. It was too fast for me, but she seemed to dig it. Like she was yeah. totally into it. Yeah. yeah. She was, and She's, he was totally into it because she was totally into it. Yeah. And so he's like, "Yeah, that's right, baby. I drive fast." <laughs> <laughs> so they have their picnic, and he was, I thought, so intense. Oh. Totally agree. Just he can't he can't relax either. Yeah, it was almost like too it's much. Like be yourself, like Keith or some of the other guys that left the show that were maybe too much themselves. Yeah, but they were just regular guys. Well, they were. Yeah, they weren't trying to do a full court press, you know, right. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. he. I was uncomfortable watching. I know him. He's just uh, staring yeah. at her awkwardly, and just. Talking, 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 like almost saying, if you don't pick me, I'm going to be devastated. Yeah. It was almost like you wanted to like eat her. Yeah. You know, like, arr, arr, arr. Right. It was just, <laughs> duh. So they have dinner on the ship. Again, empty, mm. except for them. Like, okay, right. obviously this was. ABC did not pay to rent the whole ship out. I don't know. I wonder. Maybe it was product placement because they were advertising the cruise. Uh, Remember? She would always mention the airlines, the ship. Oh, and Windstar and then, Cruise. And the yeah. Sofitel Hotel. Everything was that's product right. placement. So, well, yeah. I mean, that's what they do. Right. Well, he seems sincere about everything. Um, even when she brought up the no sex part, he, he didn't seem to be as put off, I thought, or as mm-hmm. disappointed as, um, well, maybe they just didn't use that take. But <laughs> Wait a minute. I think they did it. Don't. Okay. Oh, oh right, okay. Oh, did I just jump no, too far ahead? No, no. Well, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, because I actually, the next, my next note at least is, uh, I, I wrote again, they didn't eat, which drives me crazy. Right. No, the next morning, he hints. I Right. Mm-hmm. Did you think he was sort of hinting that mm-hmm. there was hanky panky? Yeah. Oh, for sure. What did he, would you remember what he said? He said something um, about, like, I'll never tell or something like okay, that well, or. Right. Some, right. He was did. It something like that? He says, I don't I'm remember. not going to say anything. Okay, I have chalk. Stop talking. You're talking too much. <laughs> uh, uh, he did. He was talking too much because he kept talking about a lot of competition. I don't know what's going on in her head with the other two guys. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Remember? Right. Well, I think chalk was beaming the next morning, and he, when he was reflecting, and he said some. Yeah, you're, I didn't write down the quote, but he said, "I'm not going to say anything. Maybe she will, or something." Oh, like that, that was it. Yes, that and was I go, it. You just, you just, duh. Yeah. They did I don't the dirty think deed. they did it. Really? I don't Maybe know. he was coached into saying something like that by the producers. Oh, entirely possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I th- yeah, that okay. could be. Because <laughs> he was kind of beaming, though, like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he was just being cagey to make it sound like, yeah, that's right, baby. We we did the deed. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. Heart, uh, <laughs> men are weird. Um, okay, <laughs> so then we have Pascal. Mm-hmm. Boy, now that was, this was the most unexpected turn of events the entire show episode. season. Yeah. Uh, honestly, of the season. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I would agree. Um, okay. For, he's talking with Jesse. That they're right. At the Mamara or Manaro Resort or whatever. I sort of saw that because I made a mental note because I thought, okay, if I go to Tahiti, maybe these are one of the places <laughs> Exactly. I Let's go. take notes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nominate you next time. Oh, God. I can no fr- see you I, on there. No, no. You know what I would be? I would be like... Um, Kicked off right away. Oh, no. yeah, for sure. Because I would just be myself. And, and yeah. the guy would probably go, 
<laughs> you chose her. Why? <laughs> she's she's crazy. You know, she, and, and I just be too much myself, and that's sometimes too much. You'd be honest. Well, I. Honestly, I don't have the energy to not be so. <laughs> I would definitely be kicked off. Right. <laughs> I can't play the phony game. Right. So um, he's talking with Jesse. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm wondering while he's talking about this two year relationship he had with obviously it's a local woman mm-hmm. in our geographic area, North Shore. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, like Forest Lake Bluff or somewhere in Glencoe or who knows, who knows? Chicago. Who knows? Mm-hmm. And I'm worrying. I wonder who that is. And mm. and if you're listening, would you like to come up and into our studio and do a <laughs> an interview? An interview. We would love to interview you. That, that would be, be awesome. Great. Yes, nameless woman. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um he was pretty open with Jesse about being not ready. Right. So he's kind of been a phony the whole time. Well, I think that's I, his superficial cover because I think he's He's that guy. I, I think he's that person who is hard on the outside and gushy on the inside. Okay. I, I mean, you don't have to agree with me. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying because the way he was so vo- very vulnerable, and I thought it was an honest candor. Mm-hmm. I was stunned. He's not who I thought he would be. I think he's used to putting on a show. Because mm-hmm. he's got us, that's sort of, he's part of show business, that right. kind of oh, salon sure. that he runs. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's show business, baby. Yep. I don't know. This just changed my mind about him completely. Well, maybe. I, I don't also, know. I think he didn't think he'd get, make it this far. Well, he even said that. Yeah, that's what he said. And he's like, oh my God, this now is what am real. I going to do? Yeah. Yeah, I think hometown made him realize, okay, this is really getting serious. Because mm-hmm. he said, his daughter signed him up Mm -hmm. for this. So it wasn't initiated, but then he went like, oh, what the heck? You know, I'm just broken up, so I should do this, and they probably won't pick me anyway. Right, Right? exactly. And it just took a life life of its own. And he also, um, remember when you said, oh, she'd fit in nicely or oh, with my, like she could fit in. Into my lifestyle. It wasn't like, oh, she's the love of my life or anything romantic. Right. But- um, I when I really was watching him, he really didn't have that chemistry with her that maybe she had with him. Right. Oh, I yeah. think she was definitely more attracted to him yes. than he was to her. Okay. Uh, I mean, don't you think? I, I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, I thought that was apparent as the episode went on, at least their segment of it. I thought it was quite apparent mm-hmm. that she was more, because she was very surprised. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, so we're kind of jumping and jumping. Okay, okay. But anyway, I thought he was very open and vulnerable with Jesse about how he did not have deep feelings. I don't know, the whole thing came out of left field for me. But then when he was with her, they did this, what what was it called? The bonding ceremony? Oh, a bonding ceremony, which yeah. was kind of like, what almost tried to look like a, a little fake marriage Yeah, thing. exactly. I mean... And he got scared to death. Well, yeah, he did. I mean, I was happy at least they ate. You know, oh, <laughs> you're so paying attention to the food. Well, yeah, I, yeah. the food looked good. Oh well, my was, god! Yeah, the breadfruit. I guess that's a. I don't know what I that is. Know. Um, and then what else? I, I just want to go over the menu here. Oh, ceviche. I Maybe that was the so. second thing. And some fruit, and then okay, they had was, some kind of creamy dessert, coconut. Oh, well, they had, well, they had chicken, which they kept going cocorico, which is rooster in French. Oh, yeah. And the, but it was a rooster, it wasn't a chicken. But right. I mean, it tastes like chicken, I guess, right, probably, but it's male. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I, I don't, I've never, when I used to eat meat, I don't know if I ever ate a rooster. I, how would I know? I don't know. Right. Um, so the bonding ceremony, it was, mm-hmm. it was weird. Yeah, it was weird. And it wasn't even a fun date. Like the other dates were fun. Yep. And I go, what are they doing? It was almost it was like... Bleh. It feels like they're designed around the, the guy, okay. and it was almost like putting the pressure on him to crack, sort of crack, yes, and be like, "Okay, I can't do this." It, right, it feels like we're getting married right here. Exactly. And he got scared. His he didn't let his walls down, and then he started just kind of freaking out. Well, in his own words, he says, mm-hmm. "I'm freaking out." Mm-hmm. So um, the bonding ceremony. What was that? They um, for the release, they poured water on each other's hands from mm-hmm. the coconut. Whatever with they first they say their fear out loud and then pour it. I thought, well, that's interesting. Maybe there's yeah. some symbolism there that could help. And then uh, they braided that plant, and then that's when I started saying. Then they plant cuffed them. Oh like, right! Remember they braided right. the plant. And they, 
Yes. And and I went, whoa, they are so not at this stage. Right. And neither, I mean, he was not into it. He's like looking around going, what? Did, like, did you notice that? Oh, yeah. He was uh, he was very uncomfortable. He was a little detached mm-hmm. from it, thinking mm-hmm. detached, this is, yes. yeah, this is a little wrong. And then at the end, they drank the coconut milk. Oh, my God, I mm-hmm. can't believe that guy with the knife and he chops it off. And I'm thinking, I know. Oh, <gasps> one time he's going to miss. And, oh, there go the I know. I'm always, how I know. come I always think stuff like that? What's wrong with me? Anyway, he even complained. Well, not complained, but he, when they were interviewing him, mm-hmm. he's saying, I thought we'd have something fun. I thought it would be light. light. I thought it would be great. Yeah, like going on a boat ride or yeah. the other two dates were way fun, active. This was weird. Yeah. And that's, he even said that. And he said, I didn't want anything deep. And I thought, yeah, I agree. I thought, yeah. I, I thought it was too pushed ahead of its time. But I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think like the producers and they were probably trying to push him into the wall about this. Right. But then he said, I just think he was expressing a lot of self-doubt. He was said he was freaking out and he knew that he didn't, he didn't have it. He didn't have any chemistry with her. Yeah. Basically, that's what he told her. And she was shocked. She was so taken aback. Yeah. Did you see her mm-hmm. face? Mm-hmm. And I thought she started to maybe get teary a oh, little bit. Oh, she did. Bit. Yeah. yeah. She got dumped. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. No. On camera. In front of everybody. Exactly. That had to hurt. Um, but now, let me ask you this, though. It was touching, though. Do you think that his ideal woman is maybe 20 years younger? I mean, Joan's gorgeous. I, I But yep. I'm thinking, you know what? I think he dates younger women. I, I'll bet you're right. Yeah. Yep. Sports car. And, and we're, we're women his age, our age, we're not impressed with money and flash. Mm-hmm. For, not well, impressed, but... But I mean, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. But I would. But I not know. impressed. Right. No. Right. No. I just think maybe they're his done that. exes are uh, younger, younger and impression mm-hmm. more impressionable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of like ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of gaga over him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anyways, that was just my thought. No, I. I think. <laughs> mm. I think you're nailing it. I do. And it was so sad because then they're doing the. The one-off, the interview one-to-one with her, and she says she doesn't feel lovable after she that She doesn't happened. feel lovable, but I also think she is not over her husband. No. And he comes up in every conversation. She compares him to every date, and he was the love of her life. Next season, get a divorced gal. Mm. Oh, someone who's really over it. Yeah. Who's oh, like, who can... I, yeah. That's that's my that's my advice to the network. Yeah, get somebody divorced. It, it they don't all have to be dead husbands <laughs> out there or dead wives or whatever. Yeah, yeah. but not with an axe to grind, right? You well, know, not with an axe to grind. Yeah, not like I hate him so much. I'm going to go on this show. You know what I mean? And <laughs> compare all the negative negative as- aspects of each yeah. gentleman. To her husband. Right. Oh, that would, oh, don't like that guy because that's what my husband did. Oh it would be God. kind of funny, though. Because <laughs> there's been no... It, it would be really funny, yeah. actually. It would be. But it would be funny for us. Right. Maybe not for the people. <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially if oh, it was no. the my guys who had been divorced and they're saying, well, you're just like my wife. Oh, and no. I hate that. You're going home. No rose. No rose for you. Well, what is your prediction? Oh, man. I don't know. There was that. You heard that too. Remember? Mm -hmm. I I know what true love is, and this is not true love or something. This isn't it. Oh. Remember last week? It was part of the previews. I do remember now. Well, I don't know. My prediction she picks nobody. I I think you're right. And that's kind of flat and dumb because then they have nowhere to go after the show. No. It's like, okay, it's over. Well, next week is the, um, the, in the previews, it showed next week is the men tell all. Right. Yeah, so you got to see the preview, right? Uh, no, I started oh. started to get my things together to come over here. Okay. Uh, what did you see? Well, um, in the Men Tell All, it looks like it's going to be fun, first of all. <laughs> I, I saw a shot of Gary, and I was like, yeah. Gary? Turdner? No, Gary Livingston. I Googled him. Gary. I Gary. looked up his last name. <gasps> Gary Bear. Gary Bear. Oh, our Gary sweetheart. Bear. His last name is Livingston, so you can look him up on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're probably all... It looks like they're all there. They're they revealing all their last names that have been kicked off. So okay, you can yeah. find them and you can date them. Okay. <laughs> well, you know. ladies, go I, for I it. I just want Gary Bear to be my best friend. I, I do just, too. I just love, we love, love him. We almost have to make a trip out to Palm Springs and just hang with them. Yeah. 
Right. Oh, and then they showed Charles. Charles, of course, is there. And oh, one yeah. woman, uh, one woman, um, she looked like she was probably in her twenties or thirties. She's Asian, and she stands. She goes, "My mom is available." Oh. And, and Charles oh. is like, he puts his hand up, like, "Yeah," you know. Oh, he, he was just being so cute. Oh. The way he's always didn't cute. he look like he was crying? Oh, Char- Oh, that Charles. No, Charles. I was thinking of Jonathan. Oh, oh! You did see part of it. I did yeah, see yeah, yeah. part of it yeah. now. And he I'm did because he said, "I, I was so something. I was so into it." Or we, we, yeah. yeah, and he does look. He did look teary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pascal is there, and she. He's in the in the hot seat. Oh, I didn't see yeah. that part. Yeah, and she kind of calls him out. Looks like I don't remember okay. what it was that she said, but it didn't. It wasn't terribly confrontational. But well, he's being honest. I thought his candor was very refreshing. Mm-hmm. Me too. It was probably the most honest time that we've seen of him, for mm-hmm. sure, and maybe of a lot of them, of them. Right. You know? Right. He was just open and raw, and he said, I'm not ready. I'm not there. Mm-hmm. And at least he didn't lead her on to be like one of the last two. Right. And then she picks him. Yeah. And I mean, then the week later, they, they break up. Yeah, so he has some scruples. Yeah. You know, no, he's not that was into... respectful. Yes. And maybe he saw that she really was leaning towards somebody else and he wasn't feeling into it. So it was like, okay, this will be easier for her to make a decision. Yeah, yeah. Without three guys. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Who knows what they're thinking. Yeah. But he seemed sincere. I got to say, it was just not the twist I was expecting mm-hmm. and not not the turn. No. So anyway, that's that's the show. And um, okay, you said there was something that, that was I was it. supposed to remind you. Oh, get I'm sorry. A no, that was it. <laughs> oh, get I a divorced just, woman. Yeah, just or, or man it, or whatever. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because they talk. It gets too emotional when they talk about their their spouses that have passed away. Well, because I think that the ones that have spoken about it, uh, they or at least the ones we've gotten to know more, they are still enmeshed in the feelings, mm-hmm. and it's understandable. Right. And there's just not enough distance or they just haven't taken the time to get grief therapy or they don't think that they need it, but they do. Right. Well, I, I'm comparing it to The Golden Bachelor mm-hmm. where Gary hardly ever talked about his wife. But, uh, well, we know he, he was about two inches deep, though. R- right, right. You know, as a person, as a exactly. human being. So, yeah, yeah he didn't because he was just like, oh, I'm over it. I'm over I it. I mean, excuse me, wasn't he the guy who, what? Dating like right after right she died. after yeah. yeah so he probably already had his game going anyway mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's it Let's okay wrap it's this a puppy wrap it up. up and okay. uh, next week is men tell all men tell all and um and then one more week and then one more week and that'll Ooh. be el ito el ito yeah. el ito yeah. okay yeah. we'll have something new for you after that and like I always say at the end of a football game or as a, as a football game is in the last two minutes anything can happen. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, so, as in the bears. That's right. On Sunday. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Now I'm gonna cry. Okay, was that just? I didn't watch it. Oh, I was at the. T- I was down out of town, but I was texting my husband. I'm like, "What's going on? Oh, they're gonna win. They're gonna win. They're oh, gonna yeah. win." Yeah. And then I'm like, "Oh, thinking they won." Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh! I, uh, <sighs> it hurt so bad. Ooh. And and you know I have football parties every mm-hmm. Bears game. And we're all kind of going, oh, okay, you know, well, and then I always say, anything can happen. And then everything did. Mm-hmm. So, but as even as they were just falling back after, you know, the clock started, one of the guys said, oh, maybe they'll do a Hail Mary, just as a Hail Mary was being tossed. Oh. And then we screamed so loud that the doggy that I had oh at, my my, at the house, yeah. kinda, you could feel him. He jumped up. <laughs> <laughs> you feel those four paws so jump up and down. Going on? Like, what? Because everybody yelled, no. Oh, geez. It was brutal. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, we, now we got to wrap it up because now okay. I'm, get, I'm getting really upset. It's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, everybody. Oh, feel yes. free to contact us and communicate if you like. And uh, we'd love a rate, a rating, or a rating. We'd love mm-hmm. you to rate us. How's that? And a review, right? Yep, we'd love that. Okay. Let's say bye bye. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Harvey. Ladies Who Question is executive produced and edited by me, Lisa Dominique, and also executive produced by Holly Caulfield. Holly also does most of our research, and Claire Caulfield is in charge of technical assistance and social media. Music, My Lionheart. Sketch music by Florian Manx and Matthew Anderson. 
Thanks for listening. Please subscribe, follow, rate, and review Ladies Who Question on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Send your thoughts to ladieswhoquestion at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Threads, and our website, ladieswhoquestion.com. All content discussed on Ladies Who Question are the opinions of Lisa Dominique and Holly Caulfield and should not be construed as advice of any kind. By listening to this podcast, you agree not to use this podcast as advice of any personal or medical issue for yourself or others. This disclaimer also applies to guests or contributors to the podcast.